Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it started off with forest nothing. It then moved to stone nothing. <laughs> it then moved to gold nothing. It moved to a lot of different nothing maps. This is all of them combined. This is everything nothing. And the funny thing is, Hera decided to play it. I literally told him. So Hera's a pro player if you don't already know. I said, Hera, you don't want to play this one. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 I'll play. People want me to play. Oh my god. We didn't even do fast speed. We didn't even do fast speed. Wow. Yeah, Harris says, why did I agree to this? I, I <laughs> you've no one but yourself to blame. All right, so let's introduce the players. In the blue, we have Hera. As you can see, he's already using his pro APM uh, to save that villager. Oops, he lost a villager to both a bear and a tiger and a lion and a wolf at the same time. Uh, you got to be careful. You could end up being defeated. Uh, he's playing as the Mongols. In the red, we have Gundrick. He's playing as the Chinese. Um, in the green, we have Sleeth. He's playing as the Franks. Now, funny story about Sleeth. I, this was an accident, and I feel bad about it. I forgot I had drawn him for a previous community game, which was relatively normal. And so I said, oh, don't worry. I'll give you the next game. <laughs> well, now, now he's in this. So sorry about that. Uh, anyways, he's playing as the Franks again. Um, Atomic Sausage is playing as the Koreans, my favorite. In the purple, we have um, Atomic Sausage playing as the Mongols. Wait, no, Nalgene, what am I talking about? I looked down here and got really confused. Uh, it's not Atomic Sausage, it's Nalgene, I just said that. In the orange, we have Official playing as the Aztecs. And in the teal, we have Chinese for Onion Duck. Um, this is going to take forever. I don't think this game will ever end. How does a game like this end? Oh no, you just shot the zebra. You're supposed to eat that. <laughs> I'm just cracking up at the fact that Hera was in this. Guys, you just know this is what happened. Hera was doing, you probably got home from school or whatever, right? And he didn't really have that much time to play. He definitely like had one of those days where he said, eh, I'm not going to play today. I'll wait for the weekend. And so he stopped by the stream. Everyone's like, yeah, Hera, he's so cool. Woohoo, we love Hera. And then so Hera said, all right, people want me to play. I don't know what the map is. Let's join up. <laughs> and then it's this. He's he's going to try and save face, too, because he wants to be professional. And he's not going to say what he's thinking, but oh boy. <laughs> um, if I were him, I would quit. I would quit. I'm sorry, chat, but I would just quit. Gundrick says, how was I stupid enough not to pick Mongols? Yeah, he went for Chinese, right? It's not too bad. I mean, Mongols, obviously, for the hunt. Magyars would be overpowered to one-shot the animals. Um, I'm surprised the game hasn't crashed yet. Anyone else? I'm really surprised the game hasn't crashed yet. We did ban Magyars, uh, for those wondering on YouTube or for those who maybe didn't hear about it here on Twitch. I would really like to see if I can fix this little... See, this thing normally shows my the amount of viewers I have, uh, but instead it's just a white box, so that seems to be bugged today, so whatever, it's fine. So... You also have a queen, and I don't mean for this to come out the wrong way, but the queen is useless. All right? If you lose the king, you're defeated. Sniping kings, there's some value in that. But if you lose the queen, you it's useless. Um, it's just a nice little touch from the map creator Snippy. I know, it, it's Snippy that's sexist, not the streamer, not the caster, okay? So... <laughs> You know what would be really strong, though, is Huns. Hera's winning. Kind of. He has uh, 12 villagers right now. Good thing he has that scouting bonus. He's probably hoping that, you know, it's not like this till the monument. I could see Aztecs being extremely strong on this, though, because of all the relics. 
here's what I want to do while we have the time. Let's just count all the different food and, well, just everything on the map, right? So um, starting on the left, we have marlin, snapper, dolphin, box turtle, dorado, um, snapper, tuna. If he forgot salmon, he's fired. Perch. Why don't I see salmon? I don't... There's no salmon! Of all the fish to forget, you forget salmon! There's no salmon, man! This has to... He's trolling me. Okay, somebody else spectate this and look for salmon. There's got to be salmon in here. Oh, man. I don't know what's more annoying. The fact there's no salmon on everything, nothing, or those, or my neighbor's dogs outside. I hate those dogs. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're really loud and obnoxious. Uh, anyways, uh, no salmon. Uh, back to what we were talking about. I like the angle this corner presents to us. We have zebras. We have rhinos. We have, um, did I see an elephant? I don't see an elephant. Um, water buffaloes, turkeys, goats, deer, fruit bushes, forage bushes, Komodo dragons, uh, relics. Obviously, you have like every different type of tree. I know pro players really hate the acacia trees, so what if we just made all wood lions a mix of all types of trees just to annoy them like this like oh you don't want acacia trees for hidden cup three okay cool we're gonna do one palm forest tree uh one one bamboo tree <laughs> all combined all right no sheep yeah i mean i'm, I'm obviously I, I think snippy didn't add salmon as a troll but uh I, i'm just joking there's not going to be everything here it's it's already so ridiculous Whew. Is this mega random? Oh man, imagine if this was in mega random. So we're gonna have some time, guys. It, it, what's weird is it seems like players collect rows of animals? Of Gaia units? I don't know how that works. But you can see that on the minimap pretty clearly. They all have their own little uh, area, I guess. Well, we have time while they work their way through all of these <laughs> freaking resources. <laughs> uh, I mean, Hera, you might as well go to Feudal Age here. It would make sense to just go Feudal Age and get Wheelbarrow and get the uh, Lumber Camp tech. And while we have that time, while we uh, work our way towards the inevitable fight and clash for the monuments, uh, I gladly answer questions and talk to you guys. Um, is Hidden Cup 3 going to be on DE or Classic? It'll be on Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. <clears throat> That's true. Yeah, maybe he added salmon in the script and it just got covered up by, by other fish that does happen. Why is there a king and a queen? Uh, to add a realistic effect to the map. Also, Snippy was the first to do that, I think. Did I miss any conversation here? Let's see. Oh, Hera's already chatting. This was a mistake. AW2 was a mistake. Harris says, why did I agree to this? He says, even Magyar struggle on this map. Hera allies some people. He says, how do they expect us to get to the middle is my question. <laughs> hey, I don't have answers. I just ask the questions. Uh, Gundrick says, Onagers, I guess. How was I stupid enough not to pick Mongols? Okay, we saw that. Official says, so Hera... What is your favorite color? Harris says green. Official says good. And Harris says Sleep took it, so I'm going to kill him. And Official says let's get him. What? And Sleep says what did I take? And Harris says my dignity. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was not Sleep that did that. But yeah, fast wheelbarrow makes sense. You collect resources a bit faster. Fast double bit X. Man, we should have done fast speed. All right, well, what's my favorite color for underwear? 
Uh, why did I read that question? I, I don't really have a preference. Honestly. Sorry? <laughs> El Nino, I, I already saw it, man. Thanks for the recommendation. Poor Sleeth. Again, Sleeth wasn't even supposed to play in this game. It's alright, it'll take Hera an hour to get there. We're already 20 minutes into the game. What makes you think T90 wears underwear? I, why do you think I don't use face cam? I am casting in the nude right now. Yep, that's right, you heard it. 49ers or Chiefs? Um, So this is the first Super Bowl in a long time that I don't... I'm not rooting for a specific team. On one hand, I would really like the Chiefs to win because I like Andy Reid, and the Chiefs have never won a Super Bowl before. And as a Vikings fan, I tend to root for those teams. Uh, but on the other hand, the 49ers are a really good team, and I, like, I, don't, I don't hate anyone on either team, so we'll see. It'll be an interesting matchup because you have a clash of good defense with a clash of really good offense. So I just hope it's a good game. T90, why no capture rate for this game? Would have been interesting to see how many resources there are on the map. Uh, because capture rate is not optimized for my PC. And I was supposed to have a conversation with them two days ago. And I was busy and forgot about it. So uh, pretty much my, my fault. Basically what happened was capture age became available for everyone. You guys can check it out at CaptureAge.com if you'd like to, to get involved with it. But uh, and when that happened, all my preferences, everything I had on the version that was specifically for me, uh, disappeared. Like That version doesn't work anymore, so I had to re-download it, and I wasn't able to really iron out the kinks. That's all. You're a Vikings fan, too. I am a Vikings fan. Horrible gameplay. Why do you hate the players? Why all the sadistic maps? People voted for this. <laughs> People voted for this. Honestly, Varian, I felt like the previous map was really good. I felt like the previous map was really good. I mean, it wasn't good for you, but it was interesting. Also, there's been an extreme lack of custom maps over the last month or two, so... Oh no, Hera! So I, uh... I really wanted to mix in some new maps, so it was awesome. Honey sent me a new map. Uh, this is one from Snippy, like, way back. Look at the animals! Here they come! Oh, man. This one's super sadistic, I, I agree. But guys, this is it then, right? No more nothing maps. This is where it all ends. It starts with forest nothing, it ends with, with everything nothing, right? Zoo ty worst zoo tycoon ever. I never played that one. Never played that one. Look at the amount of deaths the players have. I played some mean Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Don't mess with me, alright? I had the ultimate business plan. Ten-year-old me was not messing around. Sappin says, T90, are you ever gonna do just a straight, plain free-for-all on Arabia? Have done in the past, but those types of games ten tend to become steamrolls. Because you just have the two or three strongest players own everyone. Um, so yeah, it's good to have a mix. I mean, this is... If you're looking at this thinking, wow, this is all T90 does for community games, it's, you're taking it a little bit too far. Uh, we do a wide variety, both extreme and not so extreme. So, <clears throat> How many guests did I drown in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? Um... And Duck says, want to tell us your Roller Coaster Tycoon strategy. Okay, I really wanted to tell you, but I wanted someone to ask so it wouldn't come off as bragging. So yeah, let me tell you. Okay, so uh, this is what young me used to do. And I'm not bragging. Again, Ducks used to tell me, all right? So, or Ducks, Ducks, Ducks asked me to tell this story. So if you don't know Roller Coaster Tycoon, you create a roller coaster park or an amusement park. That's what it's called. And um, so you can charge for people to come into your park. You can charge for rides. You can make it free. You could do whatever you wanted. Um, you could sell balloons. You could sell drinks. You have restrooms. You have janitors. You have security guards. All types of stuff. So ultimately, the more money you earn, the better rides you can get. The better rides you get, the more you can charge for entry to the park. And it's Thanks just... 
all about making money and getting bigger and better parks and ratings and awards and, and other nonsense. So it's really hard to earn a lot of money at times, or at least like to build up towards that point, it would take a lot of time. And uh, so I figured out like a bug that allowed me to earn a lot of money. Now, there was a downside to it, and I'll talk about it, but this is what I would do. So, obviously, had a good park to work with, made the park free so people could come in and enjoy their time there. Um, then I had the most popular ride free, and there was a one-way road that went into the entrance, okay? And then where they would exit, there were free drinks, so they immediately exit the best ride. Everyone's always in line for because it it's free. And then I have like 20 drink stands and it's free. Okay. Then at this point, like they're on a one-way path after exiting the ride. <clears throat> There's restrooms. So bathrooms where they would have to go to the bathroom. Now, the game was intelligent enough where if someone bought a drink, they would pretty soon have to go take a piss. Right. But the game was not intelligent enough for these people to avoid it. So you'd have, like, a group of people running around in a circle who didn't have the $20 I was trying to charge them. <laughs> they would get angry. And then the other people, they would have to cough up 20 bucks to use the bathroom. I made bank. I made so much money. It was great. Now, the problem is that... It did hurt your rating as an amusement park if people got upset. And so you, I'd have to like find a balance of how often I did that because uh, then more people wouldn't come into the park. But who cares? Like, sure, I don't get more guests for another year, but the guests I did have gave me 20 bucks to take a piss. So, and the best part, the best part was like, usually people wouldn't like the, vi uh, not the villagers, sorry, the uh, guests, that's what they're called. They wouldn't get angry, normally. They would just be like, well, that's rather steep, but I'll pay it anyways. That They would have these little uh, speech bubbles so you could tell what they were thinking. So sometimes people liked the ride so much, they would loop back around after paying 20 bucks to go to the bathroom, ride the same ride, get another free drink, and pay another $20 to go to the bathroom. Oh, it was perfect. It was perfect. I loved it. And with Roller Coaster Tycoon, all I would do is I, like, set up this this trap, and then I would just, like, go do something as my park was running for a few hours and come back, and, whoo, boy, I was rich. Anyways, ducks know how much I wanted to tell you guys that. Yes. I've told that story on stream a lot of times, and ducks just knew that I really wanted to talk about it, so thank you, ducks, for asking me. <laughs> mm. Wait, why are there only seven players in this game? Uh, Luckaholic said his computer was having issues, so he wanted us to go ahead without him. Really, I think he wised up and realized what this map was going to be, and he decided to do something else with his life. So props to him for doing that. <laughs> I never played the zoo, the zoo tycoons, um, but yeah, I played a lot of roller coaster tycoon too. I used to like I played a lot during the summers. When I was off school, and I remember my parents had like a two hour rule for the computer because they wanted me to go outside and I don't know, like breathe air or something weird. Ugh, doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so my parents were pretty strict about that. And so I could only play for two hours on the computer at my house. So then I would go outside, walk about 100 yards to my friend's house where his parents did not have that rule. And then we just play there for 12 hours. <laughs> So, um, I found a way to avoid the things my parents wanted me to do anyways. <laughs> no, I think it was the second Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, no, I think it was Roller Coaster... Ro Why can't I speak today? Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Deluxe. Is there a deluxe version? I forget. I don't have the patience for that game anymore. I've been playing Age for too long, so I'm just like, must kill villagers. I'm like, so used to playing a game where time is of the essence. <laughs> it's like, 
oh, you're 10 seconds late to feudal. You're dead, you know. And then you get into Roller Coaster Tycoon and you just wait around for hours to scam people with their money. <laughs> now that friend isn't playing video games anymore and got a serious job and you are still on video games. Yep, exactly. I talked to him last night, actually. We didn't talk about Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I spoke to him last night. He's one of my, well, he is my, one of my best friends. <clears throat> okay, so honestly, is anyone else kind of impressed with how well some of these players have done? I mean, Hera, he really wants to go to bed at a reasonable time tonight, so uh, he is at 57 villagers. He's doing all right. Um, some of the others are struggling a bit more. <laughs> But, uh, they're getting somewhere. They're getting somewhere. So I actually have a funny story. So I, um, have a mod here named Smarthy, who many of you know, many of you might not. All otherwise known as, uh, the opponent of Harry Davis in the Legend of Harry Davis video on YouTube. Um, Smarthy and, it was, see, let's see, it was myself, Smarthy, and, was it Dave? Or was it T. West? I forget. Somebody else who apparently isn't important to me because I don't remember who it was. Um, we were all talking about Roller Coaster Tycoon and we found something that's called like, Open RC2. So you could play on servers with other people online. And we went onto some guy's server and of course like they were super serious about it and had all these rules. And all I wanted to do was make the largest possible log flume that you could make. So like... Let's say you have max 30 elevation. Um, like, let's say I want to make a log flume, right? I start from ground level, and I start building it up, building it up, building it up, and then I hit max height. So if I want to get it higher than max height, I have to then pay to raise the land another tile to raise the log flume another tile. So on this server, I think everything was free. So I was just raising all the land. <laughs> and... Um, I just wanted to see people die on the log flume, and then we got kicked. <laughs> it was so disappointing. Like, we put a lot of time and effort into the log flume, and the guy was like, no, you're not taking this serious enough, and kicked us. And honestly, I, I don't think I've ever played, I've never seen the game in the same light since. So, ruins my love for the game. You can make your own server, T90? I know, probably. Oh wow, fast dimp from Gundrick. Let's go. Hera is slinging us? Hera's not slinging, right? He's not slinging. Okay, I was gonna say. Hera's getting some relics. Again, Aztecs would be nuts on this, but any Civ's gonna be strong with the amount of relics. There's gotta be well over 100 relics. T90, if you came into my City Skyline game, I'd hate you too. Ducks the Savior plays City Skylines and he streams it occasionally. And he has a house called Tristan's House. And it looks like, like all the other houses around my house look really nice. And they, they're like well kept. And I feel like I would be proud to live there. My house looks like... I don't know how to describe my house without being offensive to someone who might possibly live in certain areas of the world, uh, but it, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. It's so offensive, but I will say that I'm okay with it because one time I asked Ducks to, what was it? Like, what did we do? I think we like flooded his town with sewage. I don't know. That's, it was something awful to all of his people, so... Then the rest of the people had shitty houses. Oh, a meteor. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That is one thing I'll admit to doing with Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I would uh, sometimes drop people in lakes and things of that nature. So do you guys have any questions regarding the actual game right now? I mean, again, fairly impressed with how good people have played this. Um, it's really about getting more villagers. Yes, you're going to lose some. But you have to mine your way through resources. I think it's a mistake to be going for gold instead of wood. Uh, like, Sleeth is mining gold. It's going to take much longer to get through that than it is the trees. I guess if you get to the Imperial Age and can cut space for a siege workshop, you could go for 
um, onagers. I very much feel like Hera is trying to cut to the outer edge and dock out here. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can dock, actually. Harris is red, I need food. You have? Harris trying to dip low here. <laughs> Dude, you're Mongols on a map with unlimited hunt. You don't need food. Gundrix is very little. And that's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> he only has 24 vils. Hera has 88. You extortioner. This guy extorted money money out of me. Real money out of me in Regicide Rumble 3. Okay, Gundrick says, let me put my market up. And Hera says, it, it's fine. No, no, it's cool. All right. See, you know what? That could be next level Diplo right there. Showing some mercy early on. So Gundrick will be on his side. I don't know if he really has a conscience, or if... <laughs> That's so brutal. I don't know if he has a conscience. I don't know if he really has a conscience, or if he's trying to... Like, if he's going to remind Gundrick of that later. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, MBL extorted me as well. That was so funny. No one researching Onager yet. I think Onager's the way to go. Just onage your way to the center then. Still going to be awkward, but you can chop the trees and uh, free up a whole lot of space. Wonder Victory. Wonder Victory should not be possible on King of the Hill. Should not be possible. Sea Johnagers is the way to go. Ice Facer and Ingrum. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys very much for the Twitch Primes. Sapper1 says, thanks for the comment. You are awesome in keeping you. Thanks, bro. Hmm. Hair is getting conscription. I feel like Hair would have docked if he could. He could have tested it over here already. Oh, wow. Gundrick sent him food. All right. I feel like it's worth it to just delete a town center, build the siege workshop, and go on a journey now. Please tell me they didn't do a max population of 100. Please tell me they didn't do that. Did Hera just forget to make houses? Oh, that would be the worst. Yeah, I'm also thinking that you need to take the shorefish first. That would kind of make sense. It looks very much like they're stuck at 100 pop. Make another house, Sarah. <laughs> Make another house. Oh, man. He has Vils queued up and everything. Hmm. All right. No. Anyways, good questions earlier. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon rant was fun. There's nothing more we can really do except chat and hang out. Uh, and I really like that about nothing maps. As much as the players might struggle here, and as, as over the top as this is, I really do like that uh, when I'm streaming. Now, if I was casting this for a YouTube video, it'd be boring, because I'd just be talking to myself. Now, granted, I do that on Fatsop games, which are similar length, but uh, it's a bit different there. <clears throat> Can't you check in the settings? I'm just, I'm just exaggerating, dude. There's no way. There's no way. I'm just, just being dramatic for the sake of being dramatic. Show purple dock. Does purple have a dock? He doesn't have a dock. Nope, no dock. No one has docked. They are blocked from the docked. T90 is the Hidden Cup 3 main event from Thursday to Sunday. Yes, it is, I think, the 19th through the 22nd of March. Um, I already have people saying they're calling off work for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 19th through the 22nd. And by people, two people have told me that. What are you most looking forward to in Hidden Cup 3? I mean, there's going to be a lot. Um, there's a lot I can't really bring up right now because nothing's confirmed. But there should be some awesome things for the community. Uh, everything we had for Hidden Cup 2 uh, are going to be is going to be there. Like the giveaway competitions, the guessing competitions... The uh, 
the fact that the players will have those awesome hidden names and identities, so we would be guessing and having a whole lot of fun there. But more than anything, I feel like the lineup in Hidden Cup 3 main event is going to be extremely competitive. I think it will be more competitive than certainly Hidden Cup 1 and 2 uh, because there's eight qualifiers, right? So, like, there are going to be a lot of players with big reputations not make it in to Hidden Cup because they don't qualify. And so, like, players really have to earn their spots now, which I think is really important. My favorite book? Oof, I don't read much, man. Um, I can't really say I have a favorite book. If I could pick a Calvin and Hobbes book, I'd be down. Oh, there we go. Okay, Hera is onaging now. You're doubting doubt already? No, I think doubt will qualify. Um, keep in mind that the animals do not attack the siege. So, you no worries there. But no, I think doubt will qualify, but I can think of about 12 names right now that normally are participating in events and you know four of those names are not gonna make it in and then there's other names as well <laughs> harris says this map makes force nothing look great <laughs> do you think prize money makes much of a difference is 30k really going to make players try harder than 20k i think it makes a difference but you know when you're looking at high amounts like that it's you're right in saying that players are probably going to put in the same amount of effort. If you're comparing a $5,000 tournament to a $50,000 tournament, there's probably a big difference there. Because keep in mind that you're splitting it amongst a lot of different players. But no, for me, I mean, I'm proud to be in a position where I can like, put Age of Empires on the map and get a lot of money for players who have deserved to make that money for the amount of effort they put in, right, over the years, so... Oh! <laughs> Worthy sacrifice, lady. Worthy sacrifice. Official says, what could T90 be talking about? Harris says, he's a caster. He will find something. Don't worry. Yep. This is true. Hera knows. So Hera is... <laughs> he's still pretty far away. <laughs> of course Hera had to start in the furthest corner from the center. <laughs> T90, if Huang doesn't qualify, will another player have technical difficulties? Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. T90, if Huang doesn't qualify, will another player have technical difficulties and he will have to take his place? Um, mm, um, I think what you mean is if Huang isn't in the top 32 to qualify, but someone can end up playing, what will we do? Well, we're not going to do it specifically for Huang, right? So if we get 32 players and one of them can't play, then we just grab the 33rd in the signups. Uh, I know Huang was like top 20 and DE rating, and he's lost a lot of rating recently. So he still has some time. The cutoff is until February 14th. Oh man, Heisenhoff. If we made it so they were Huns or Turks, that would have been an, even more of a nightmare because they don't get Onager. Thank God we didn't do that. And thank God they didn't pick the, any of those civilizations. But yeah, Hera has made some extreme progress. Uh, Nalgene, just to put things in perspective, Nalgene is in second place. And then look at the difference here be between what they're doing. Yeah, Hera is making very quick work with these animals and making his way through the center. <clears throat> Am I going to rig Huang in? I, I mean, I want I want him to make it in. Um, I so I contacted Bact, who uh, is pretty much the only Vietnamese player or person in the community that that speaks to him on a regular basis, and I, I asked Bact to tell Huang to sign up, and Huang did sign up. So I would love for Huang to be able to compete in the qualifier because I'm just gonna I want to see how he performs. Huang does not. He does not play in tournaments. Uh, I can't think of a single tournament where Huang played. And I asked Bact about that. I said, why doesn't Huang play tournaments? And Bact said, Huang no care, he just like play. <laughs> Huang no care, he just like play. So I'm, I'm curious to see how Huang would perform in a best of five or best of seven. 
Okay, so Hera could just kill everyone if he wants to. He just said sorry after killing Gundrick's scout. And Gundrick says, I thought it was dead for a sec. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no way you can really... There's no way you can respond. You just have to beg. Interesting how Hera went directly to him, though, and didn't kill him. Why does ACCM pause so much? ACCM doesn't pause. You're thinking of Bax. I don't know. He likes to smoke. I think he gets stressed during a game. And he pauses and he wants to like quickly smoke a cigarette. And then because it calms him down. Hera said you're dead in a sec. <laughs> and Gundrick says oh. And then Hera says just kidding. Just kidding. Well 12,000 gold. It's pretty much just the relics, too. Remember, they all have a king. Oh my god, if someone docked, please tell me someone has a demo. See, I'm still not sure you can even dock, but how hilarious would that be? King sitting there, boom, dead. Hera wouldn't think that was funny. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't, like, Bax doesn't broadcast why he pauses. <laughs> Pretty sure it's because he wants to take smoke break. Hmm. <clears throat> Why the fish if you can't dock? Because it's everything nothing. <laughs> it's not it's not everything something. <laughs> Technically everything nothing is it doesn't make any sense, but uh it's a double negative, I guess. Or double positive, depending on how you look at it. Hera's not really making any progress with these Siege Onagers right now. He says, I need wood. Yeah. Well, he needs to, he needs to chop through to the center. Someone's got to start the countdown. <laughs> that, that's my worry here, is how long is this game going to be if someone doesn't start that countdown? Hmm. Okay, I believe Hera could possibly dock here. Like, if you could dock, you would dock here. Gundrick says, let me get coinage. No, it's okay, I'll get my own. Okay, guys, how many people think... Initially, I thought that Hera was pulling some sick Diplo on Gundrick. But Hera could kill Gundrick, easy. At this point, Gundrick is just like, yes, master, yes, master. I'll do this for you, master. What if Gundrick snipes Hera? I'll remind you, I think the last time that Hera played in a community game, it was with Blue Coffee. And at some point in that game, Hera's king was inside Blue Coffee's castle, and Hera was begging for his life. <laughs> so, there's no Blue Coffee here, but some of these Diplo players, these community game players, just have ways of making things happen. It's so funny to say that, and, and like, look back on that now, how... Hera, obviously much better player than everyone in that game, ended up with his king inside Blue Coffee's castle being held for ransom. And Hera was like, no, no, don't kill me. Hmm. Now that I think, why are you using this version of Everything Nothing? Do you not remember the version that had an open path? I do remember that version. But this was the only version I had, and I assumed it was the same version. So this is the extreme version. I realized that one a long time ago. Wow, Hera just lost a villager to a boar. What a noob. There's still no docks. Still no docks. Alright, so where's the king for Gundrick? It's inside of his town center. I would put the queen in one town center and the king in the other, just in case someone did go for a snipe. <laughs> Hera's like, oh, just helping, I'm sure. And Gundrick immediately sends him... <laughs> yup, see, he says, I got the wolf. Uh, and Gundrick immediately sends him wood. Nah, I'm not going to interrupt them. They have a lot to focus on right now. We'll figure this out in time. So, back to Hidden Cup. I really feel like there's going to be some crazy upsets in the qualifier, which is in February. And I also feel like there's going to be some crazy results in the main event. Um, 
the lineup's just going to be so competitive. Like if I look back to Hidden Cup 2, only having two qualifiers with 14 players getting in based on rating, it was very convenient, right? And it was easy to set up. But I think it was less than ideal because there were some players who could perform quite well that just couldn't couldn't get in because they didn't have like a few rating on someone. So to do this, the qualifier, the way we're doing it, I think is really, really good long term for the scene. Uh, holy houses over here. And I think it's going to make the event more competitive all around. Also, I'm really excited because we have some awesome maps. I think the map pool will be way better. I, how many people by a show of ones can appreciate a lot of the maps that you've seen in recent tournaments, but kind of get sick of seeing the same maps in every event? I'm, I'm definitely like, I, I can appreciate like Arabia. I, I love Arabia only tournaments. They're great. Uh, but like, even if you look at Cross and you look at Islands and you look at, you look at Step and you look at uh, all these uh, like Regicide Fortress, you know what's going to happen every single time. And so for Hidden Cup, we're going to have five maps which are never played. So half the map pool are going to be either brand new maps or maps that are never played. So I think that, I don't know, like that was really important to me. So I, like also like we won't have as much as many clues on what players might play a certain way on the maps. Yeah. Um, cross, we do have a cross version for Hidden Cup. That version will very, I mean, it has already been changed from previous cross versions, but if we get this other map we're working on finished, we might even remove cross. It's a good map, but um, just seen so much of it lately. Okay, Hera's getting there. Oh, wow, he's really close! Yes, let's go! Okay, he's, he's very, very close to the center. So, the countdown will start at 550 years, and that will really mean the other players have to get a move on. T90, do the player names for the main event already chosen? No, they're not already chosen. Um, you can give input on that on AOE Zone if you want. I think typing exclamation HC3 in the chat right now will, will take you to that, uh, to where you can give input. Um, we're going to go for popular hero names that were not used. So there's still a lot of popular hero names that have not been used. Uh, and we're going to go for some of those. We're not going to repeat any from Hidden Cup 2. Maybe if we get to Hidden Cup 5 or Hidden Cup 6, then we might need to... Like, I thought it would be a cool idea to go for like, historical leaders. Um, like Napoleon against, you know, but, um, no, I think I want to stick to the theme of doing Age of Empires heroes. It can be really cool. I mean, a lot of the Age of Empires heroes are just like, they were real people at one point too, so. Comments on Hera's Lithuanian Drush. Uh, I, he didn't Drush here. So I assume you're talking about a game he played. I mean, I've spoken to all, virtually all players about Lithuanians and that Drush. It, it's very high risk, high reward. Like, it's not really that strong, but it can look really impressive if you hit someone early. I feel like at a high level, you should always know it's coming. Initially, we were going to have Regicide Arabia um, for Hidden Cup 3. And in that, you start with the Barracks. And I thought that Lithuanians would be the clear OP pick, but I talked to... The high level players and we talked it through and now we're not because of de uh not allowing that uh we we ended up not being able to do it anyways but we felt like lithuanians were gonna be just fine oh gotcha yeah the thing is i heard spirit uploaded the video i don't i don't watch spirits videos too frequently but people tell me when he uploads it um I don't know like how they painted that strategy in that video, but the skill level you need to be at for that to be effective is pretty high. Because otherwise, like you're not gonna have an early lumber camp, you're not gonna have quite a few different things that make your economy efficient. So like I've I've seen instances where mid level players do it and they end up worse off even if they kill a villa or two. But yeah, anyways, um, it's hard for me to give thoughts, right? Because we I'm sure they talk through the pros and cons. Yeah, I, I mean there's so many Age of Empires 2 heroes that are remaining that I really like to see. Um But you know, further down the line we can always talk ideas. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. 
So countdown time. Hera starts the countdown. Now he's been chatting too. He says, yo, green, what's up? Sleet says, hi, please don't hurt me. Harris says, I won't, just give me everything you have. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so Sleet, he actually doesn't have space to build a market. But Hera is being a bully. Honestly, I have zero military besides these onagers. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep, it's just... These flags are bugs on top of your castles, Hera. He has four castles filled with Mangadai. And they're not quite fully upgraded. Probably just because he doesn't have the buildings yet. But uh, Hera is going to be very hard to kill. And by the way, I don't think you can dock on this. I, I would have assumed that Hera would have tried that already. I'll keep triple checking though. Yeah, I don't think you can dock, which is a bit of a shame, actually. Gundrick says, so those flags in your castles just mean you're happy to see me. <laughs> and Hera says, it's just my king and queen. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Gundrick knows. Gundrick can't be fooled. It's a lot of siege onagers. And 17,000 gold. You don't even need to mine gold. Sure, you can do it. It'd free up some space. But uh, with the relics, that's all you'll need. Wood will actually be the most important resource. Ooh, Orange is on the way. Aztec monks. How much gold does he have as Aztecs? Oh, 16,000. I imagine he has a lot less relics because he's not quite as... High APM as Hera. Actually, I can check that here. Hopefully the game doesn't crash on us. Um, relics. 26 for Gundrick, 25 for Orange, and 20 for Hera. Okay. Man, I have PTSD from that. Do you guys remember the longest AW2 game ever? And I clicked return to game and then it crashed? Whew. Oh, it's on the freaking overlay here. Sorry, I'm, I'm so used to DE not showing that. I have to go there all the time. So what casting DE for a few months will do that will do to you. Aztecs are really good here, though, because with the monks, you can convert that siege from distance. And then also you could make the strong eagles against Mangadai. But again, how good is your monk micro going to be compared to Hera's Mangadai and uh, siege on your micro? Yeah, Skip just posted the clip of when the game crashed. Man, I had to run the game for three hours before my stream started the next day on Fast Forward. Hey, Hera, can I borrow really quick? We cool still. Hera says, yes, of course. And Arn says, I did it, Mom. You can be palled now. You can't even spell the word proud? Your mom's not going to be proud of you. <laughs> Do you know how much he paid for private, for private school, Billy? All that money. Down the drain. So I guess he didn't want Hera to be angry that he was taking the monument. Hmm. It's kind of weird that AoE doesn't have a rewind function in DE. Yeah, I mean... Also, recorded games break every time they update, and... Uh, don't want to get started on all that stuff, but yeah, I'm with you there. I mean, that would have... The rewind function actually wouldn't have helped me there. <laughs> because I was seven hours into a game, and then the game dropped. And so I had to get back to that point after starting the game from zero. So, I don't think Microsoft should make changes to the game with, with 17 hour, or no, 13 hour long games in mind. But uh, yeah, that was a headache for me, man. It is kind of satisfying to see the animals go down. I hope you guys don't think I'm a sicko because of that, but it is pretty satisfying. Especially when there's a bunch of them stacked. Like right here? Oh. That'd be great. <laughs> the monks will just heal the villagers. That's the strategy right there. 
the villagers automatically uh, respond or react to the animals. So just have some monks there. Send all your vills forward and clear out the animals that way. Okay, so Hera is... Hera is gonna... He's gonna be doing something here. Um, he's been hanging around Gundrick's base. Gundrick can't do much. He doesn't even have a siege workshop. He just has resources. But I don't, I don't think that Hera's here just to hang out. I think he's clearing out space and he's really thinking about an attack. He's getting as many relics as he can possibly gather. Uh, 26. And occasionally he's sniping Red's units. Maybe he has his units on attack stance, but I think this is intentional. It seems like he's controlling all of this. Gundrick had... You're right, he had a siege workshop to make an onager. Gundrick says exploding villagers would have made this better, no joke. He says exploiting, though. Pretty sure he meant exploding. I mean, exploding vills? You would all die at the start. Because everyone loses vills to the animals, so I don't... <laughs> I don't know about that. I guess if you survive, then it might be a bit... Just a bit better. Alright, nice micro from Orange. <laughs> Nice. Whoa, how did that villager survive? He's a he's a tank. Now, Tiberius, in some instances you couldn't garrison. I guess you missed the start, but many players couldn't garrison. Hera said misclick. Man, he's misclicked a lot on Gundrick. He has misclicked a lot on Gundrick. Hera is dangerously close to being the only person with a positive KD in this game. What's Green up to? All right, he's cutting Good through purple. Really liked your casting um, keep up the good ooh, purple work. might be also considering. HC3. It's very possible that he will cut through to to orange. Harris says, "I come help." He's helping. <laughs> oh man, uh, I don't know if this is help, Hera. Gundrick says, no, 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 no. Hera says, I'm coming in. And now Gundrick says, no, it's fine. And Hera says, see? <laughs> Take cover. It's funny. Hera's just probably bored right now. We have about 300 years before the middle becomes important, so he's probably just bored. It's fine. And Gundrick says, Texas. Either that or thanks. I'm not sure which. Oh, that would be so satisfying. Oh, I know you want to do it, Hera. I know you need to. Oh, man. He actually got the animals. Oh, just get the bills. Get them. Boom. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. He says couldn't resist. Yep. Yep. I, I wouldn't be able to resist either. Gundrick says, misclick? Hera says, no, no, just a sin. Just a sin. Says the guy with 50 kills. Gundrick has 6 kills and 66 deaths right now. Somebody needs to change that number fast before the devil arrives. <gasps> Maybe he is the devil. Ooh. Hmm. He's a pretty pathetic devil. He, he has Mongol monks and... And Onager. I mean, he could get more upgrades, but I don't think he wants to be a threat. Big Sloppy Duck says, game crash incoming. Okay, if this game crashes, it's going to YouTube. <laughs> okay, I'm not redoing this. So, if this game crashes, hi YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the point up until it crashed. <laughs> because, I mean, this has been a good time. It's just been very repetitive. It is really fun to watch the Mongol Siege Avengers go, though. Very, very fun. I'm thinking Purple's going to be making a move here, eventually. Ooh. Okay, Hera takes control of the center again. So you know what technology is really cool for Mongols here? What is my favorite technology for this game mode? See if you guys can guess it. 
Hera has 130 military, by the way. He's deleting villagers. Nomads. Exactly. So, with nomads, and I think Hera's already taken advantage of it. I guess he has a lot of castles, but... Uh, deleted houses still hold their pop space? We're definitely going to see some attack rounds here. Definitely. Oh, oh no, Hera. He's making a lot of enemies right now. But yeah, anyways, uh, if you research nomads, deleted houses do not take up pop space. So, like, purple could research that and then delete all of his houses for space. Harris says, player eight, don't get ideas. And player eight says, don't do it, please. <laughs> this is I said it first. <laughs> That's funny. Harris says, I misclick a lot, though. It's true. He doesn't really have the best micro. Just don't tell him I said that. It's overrated. Probably the weakest aspect of his game. I could micro better. It's a joke! Don't clip that! It's a joke. Hmm. Marius, there's not eight players, but uh, player eight is official. It's, it, it's just referencing the color. So, Hera would be player one, Sleeth would be player three, Atomic Sausage would be player four. Yes. Hmm. Alright. So, 135 military, and it's pretty much all Mangadai for Hera. Now, you could take out someone's monasteries. Take out the monasteries, and then they don't have gold income, but Hera has 20,000 gold. Oh, sorry for the yawning. I swear. I'm not tired. You're tired. It's going to be a long night. I'll be up late, too. Hmm. It's reverse psychology, guys. It's reverse psychology, right? Definitely do not clip that I think the Age of Empires 2 subreddit is overrated. All the Civ ideas, all the discussion about maps. Oh, man, don't clip that, though. Don't send that to Reddit, because they wouldn't like that. Normally, <laughs> that would end up on Reddit. See what I mean? Too many memes! Actually, the memes have been really good on the Age 2 subreddit recently. That is not to imply that the memes sucked before, but there's been some quality memes. I have to give credit where credit is due. <laughs> Varian, oh my god. Varian says, real talk though, the AOE2 subreddit is full of idiots. See, Normally, like, I'd say, okay, that's your opinion, but didn't you lose a community game earlier while being a couple inches away from someone's king with Paladin? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Spoilers, but I'm kidding. I like how Varian just owns, owns who he is. You know, like, me, I sugarcoat a lot, and that's just how I am, usually. That's, that's just my existence. But Varian, he's the exact opposite. Like, he is very aggressive. And he will be like that in community games, and he will be like that in chat. True to himself. 281 years now. So we are halfway there on the countdown. But it took a long time for us to get to the center. So let's give player updates, all right? Onion Duck, he's had a rough ride. He has a lead Chukunu, uh, and he's working his way through the animals with Onagers and Chukunu. Uh, down to the south, we have Naojin. Again, I feel as though... I mean, Naojin and Arn should probably work together since this is a Diplo game, but he's in a good position to betray Arn if he wants to, so I, I just have a feeling something is going to go down here. Um, and it might be happening now, and Hera realizing this is, Yo, Player 6, I'm talking just to you. We're both Mongols, want to ally. No, see, Hera realizes that you're strong now, Jean. He doesn't want you and Orange to be against him. Yes. 
Now Jean says yes. Hmm. No, don't do it now, Jean. It's a trap. He says I can kill Orange. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, so you know what Orange is up to. We saw him in the center. Harris says we can both do it. Uh, other player updates. Yellow is... He is Koreans, remember, so he wants to make towers. That could actually be really OP. But he's he's cut his way through in some areas, and now green also cutting through. Uh, is that everybody? Oh, a Gundrick, what's he up to? Stables? Really? Dude, just make Mega Dice Siege. Oh, he's Chinese! What? <laughs> I thought he was Mongols. They have the same architecture. What a noob. Oh, okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. Maybe Camel, Cavalier, Chukunu. Onion Duck says, God, it takes forever to get to the monument. He's even praying now. Praying to God about this. <laughs> Hera says, why is it so quiet? Hi, all. Official says, hey, Hera. Hera says, you want it, Orange? And official says, yes, much love. Okay, so Hera just said at 145, he is going to distract Orange, and then Purple will go for the snipe. Purple has not said anything to Orange about this. Oh, but Orange is speaking up. He says, now, Gene. We need to work together, yes. man. That's what you need to say. He says backup. <laughs> no, no, I don't think he meant backup as in, are you going to be my backup? I think he meant back up, like back your units up. I thought he wanted purple to be his backup. That's not good. If they're talking to each other like this, that means that they're going to, something's going to go down here. Teal, what's Teal doing? Well... He's on his way. He's on his way. Orange says WTF. Why did he say WTF? Oh! <laughs> Purple killed that. <laughs> Purple also killed his own onager. Oh, look at the argument starting. This is hilarious. So Purple snipes an onager. Orange says, wow, WTF. Purple says, don't push up on me. And Orange says, you push me. Yeah, this is, this is, these guys are not staying allied. There's no way. Hmm. Okay, Hera has control of the center. Does that mean he... Oh. Man, Orange is gonna die so quickly. There's no way he can micro these monks. There's no way he can click them all individually. He's going to get flattened. Oh my goodness, look at this from Hera. Man, I can't say I'm really surprised. Gundrick is making a lot of Bombard Towers in Jukunu at the moment. His king is... Oh no, that's his queen. Remember, the queen is not important. Okay. Jaguar Warriors are next to useless. Uh, because the Mangadai will take them out. That said, Purple is lacking a lot of upgrades on his Mangadai. Hera killed his own Mangadai? Where at? He just killed one there. I mean, it's gonna happen. Oh, wow, he killed a whole bunch here. Oh, and he killed more! I like how his units bug into the, the uh, animals in the trees. Just to you, Hera, orange nose, says now Jean. And Hera says, it's okay, he's trapped. And now, at the same time, orange says now Jean, just you want to get Hera. And now Jean, who's completely lying here, says, I don't know, I'm trying to make room. And Hera says, sec, I milk him first. You milk him? Is he a cow? Orange, give me 10k gold now. Ah, now or I'll destroy you. Well, that's a deal. He has 40,000 gold. Do you milk him up? I would take the deal. 
I watched uh, Meet the Parents the other night. <laughs> and uh, what's his name? Gaylord Fokker was talking about milking a cat at the dinner table. Oh, it was so awkward. Okay, so he just sent Hera 10k gold, and Hera said, I'm not going to wait all day, 10k. Yeah, he already sent it. <laughs> oh my god! Hera said he didn't get it! He is milking him! He is milking him! Oh, get milked! Hera says you probably misclicked. Oh, there's a whole bunch of misclicks going on right now. Oh, my oh! <laughs> Speaking of, uh, can you get enough conversions, Orange? Good luck clicking every single monk on every single Mangadai and every single Siege Onager. I mean, the castles are gonna do okay, but purple will come in on the other side. I, I feel a bit bad for Orange, but I have to say, it's all been expected. It's all been expected. He just sent 10,000 gold to Hera, and he's going to die. Oh, man. I don't think mom is proud anymore, Billy. I, I really don't think mom is proud. She said you were going to amount to nothing. And, no, I'm kidding. All right, let's not get too too real. Harris says he didn't give me the gold. Don't help him. And official says... Uh, there's the king, by the way. Official says, I gave him 10k. Wait, does the queen... Why is he not dead? Does the king and the queen do nothing? Harris is red. You're making a serious mistake. What? I thought the king and the queen were important, but apparently the king is also useless. I mean, normally you don't have to select regicide when kings and queens start on maps. We selected king of the hill, right? Gundrick says, what am I doing aside from defending myself with Bombard Towers? That's a fair point. Harris says, I don't know. I see a lot of Cav. Yeah, Hera, he's just trying to make sure that there's not a 5v1 scenario. Um, yeah, Orange is at 13 pop. He's dead. Uh, might as well prepare the Fs in the chat for him. Official who, uh, of course, he's the host of the game. Why does, why do they always pick on the host of the game first? He says, so I just resign and leave on, right? How do I not crash? Cool, cool, cool. T90 don't hate if it crashes. All right. All you have to do is resign and stay in the game. So he, he's got that. That's right. We'll hate Hera instead of you. <laughs> this is going to YouTube regardless. I'll make up the finish if I have to. Onion Doc is here! And he's bringing the horde of Komodo dragons and tigers behind him. That is a lot from Gundrick. What's funny is... Uh, yeah, official... Here, let me message him real quick. Um, yeah, just resign. And then stay in game. Thanks, bro. <clears throat> Um, he should really send his resources to someone else, though. Send res to someone before you resign. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, they're going to be going for king snipes, thinking that's important, but it's not. So, all right, so Harris said big mistake. And now it's going down between Gundrick and... Onion Duck takes control of the center. So what's going to be really awkward is the pathfinding with the Cavalier uh, running in between all the relics. It's also going to be quite awkward for Hera to take out these Bombard Towers. Bombard Towers are really strong. Gundrick doesn't have a lot of food and wood. That is a concern for me. But it's, it will distract Hera. And then Onion Duck, who just got to the center, is like, okay, I got this. Gundrick says, at the very least, I shall die standing. <clears throat> it's better to uh, 
Die on your feet than to live on your knees, Gundrick. Okay, patrol. See, these are the types of things we have to remember when we give pathfinding on DE a hard time. <laughs> it's really... Sometimes pathfinding is just Age of Empires. Oh boy. I think Gundra can hold Hera for the appropriate amount of time. I, I agree with you there. And Onion Duck's just filtering in Chukunu. Purple is... Obviously, he could move in. Uh, green is... Poor Green's been... been chopping through. He's Frank, so he might go Paladin. And Hera says, Duck was behind this, the rat. I mean, this is good for everyone. It's even good for Purple, right? It gives him an opportunity to win, and Hera's all the way back here in this corner. And he was obviously doing it for some entertainment, but uh, he was talking an awful lot, and he didn't make many friends. Oh man, Hera, go! Please attack rounds here. Please attack rounds. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Gundrick just needs to hold. Now, purple, he might want the win for himself. Here he comes. Uh, we haven't talked about yellow. As he's kind of on the way, but he doesn't have. Atomic sausage is only at fifty-five pop, so it's. It's been a struggle for him, but he could maybe contribute. Oh, wow, those trebs. Woo, so many trebs going down. All right, Harry, you got to get a move on. You need siege. He needs uh, probably rams, onagers, trebs, just everything, and, and start pushing this back. And Or just cut around, but, you know, Gundrick is going to push him. Black Belt Dave, thank you for 26 months. He says, love the huge map variety, T90 Will. Well, uh, this is about as much variety as you will get in one map. That's for sure. In general, though, there's been a lot of good maps today. Thanks, man. Thank you, Prento. Nice to see you. For, for, thank you for 14. Sop, I heard your message earlier. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you for 20 months. I'm also pumped for HC3. Abra Fukin Kadabra, welcome back. Staff Fork Unflat. I, f I think I said thank you to these two for their uh, Prime subs, but if I didn't, just catching back up here, because this has been a long game. Uh, Onion Duck. I don't know if he can hold this. He doesn't have that many reinforcements. He is the most awkward path. 28 years remaining for Onion Duck. And player six, or now Gene, is coming in from the other side. Uh, Atomic Sausage is coming in on the other side, and I think for Onion Duck, it's not over, but he's not going to win it here. Props to Hera for, for going when he did, by the way, because he still had to deal with this pressure. <clears throat> yep, and Brohio, I was going to get to that as well. Thanks, Oracle, for gifting Brohio the sub. This is missing cliffs? Can you imagine if this had cliffs as well? Oh, man. Oh, come on, yellow. <laughs> oh, come on, attack round Harris. Attack round Harris. Yes! Atomic Sausage with the plays. They're allied. So he's he's being sneaky here and clearing out Harris' military. And you know what? Hera doesn't have a lot of wood. He just bought wood. What's the price? Wow. It's 510 gold. To buy a hundred wood. Now Jean says Hera Korean onager. Now Jean is definitely he's definitely whipped in this relationship. You know, like Hera wears all the pants. Now Jean is just he's just happy to have a home. He's just happy to have a home and someone to sleep next to at night. But he's not making any of the decisions in this relationship. He let Hera know immediately. Yep. Official who's in the chat, Naojin was working with Hera. I mean, Naojin should be greedy here and take the win for himself. Hera says, Duck, just know you disrespected all of Candidates Day. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that is so aggressive. All of Canada? All of Canada. Every single person. Wow. All right, well, 
Guys, Atomic Sausage with 50 population has the center right now. I didn't realize, yeah, we have three Americans, three Canadians. Ah, now Gene working with his Canadian comrade, I see. Ah, it's, it's so weird. It's like, normally the, the Americans are fighting the Canadians' wars for them. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't want to start those jokes. Hera needs to clear out Gundrick quickly because Gundrick is a huge distraction. Look at Teal Base, please. All right. There you go. Oh! Oh, no! Onion Duck is going to get... Wow. I mean, if Naljean is all of Canada, then maybe Hera wasn't wrong because Naljean is going directly to Onion Duck to take him out of the picture. Hmm. <laughs> so I think it's it's gonna come down between the Mongol players. Well, and then there's Sleeth. Let's not forget about Sleeth. He's been sleuthing. Sleeth and sleuthing. But uh, yeah, man, he only has a thousand food when he's been untouched. That's rough. You know, it must be the worst to have to rely on food. Wood gold, that makes a little bit more sense. You're going to have relic income for gold. You can buy wood, but um, to have to make any unit that costs food, it's got to be tough. Obviously, you can you can forage, and that's fine, but... I have to say, now Gene that stands no chance against Hera. Both in skill, but also he doesn't even have full upgrades. He's lacking Parthian tactics. I think he's lacking thumb ring. He's lacking bloodlines. So he has 60 HP versus 100 HP units. He doesn't have the armor. I think we missed Gundrick getting flattened over here. He's not too happy about the pathing. Funny enough, I think this was Hera's monastery. And those relics are perfect for Hera because it creates the choke points that he desires. Yellow has zero relics. Unfortunately, he doesn't have too many around his base to collect. And he taps out here. Uh, right when I made a joke about him. I feel so bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to make a joke and have him resign. Atomic Sausage, well played against Terra. So now, now if Atomic Sausage is out, and Onion Duck is getting pressured, it truly is, like, all... It's all about Hera Gundrick, I think. I'm just not convinced that Sleet has a chance here. I, I know that his Paladins will be strong. I don't know if he'll be able to create that many more after he inevitably loses some of them. Can we get some frowny faces in the chat for Atomic Sausage? That's what he did anyways. I, in my defense, I said ahead of time, you might not want to get in get involved with this game. I said that to everyone. Well, I just saw the queen die, I think. I mean, if if Hera didn't play in this game, it would have been uh would have developed a whole lot slower, I think. Gundrick says that was fun. I think Gundrick's about to give it up. Sleep says, have any extra food? I make mostly gold food units. Um, I guess Gendrick could send him resources. Harris says, I'll trade you food for wood. And he just sent some food to Sleeth, which is interesting because he'll probably be killing Sleeth soon. Hmm. I mean, Onion Duck somehow still got units to the middle. He's sending whatever he has left to the middle, even though the pathfinding's awful. But 30 years. I was talking to the humans, not the rats. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's hilarious. Hmm. Hera, Hera has... He's been one confident character here. He has to win. If you're this confident... Obviously, you're a pro player as well. If you play like this, and you back it up, expect it, right? If you play like this, 
and you forget that someone has the center with 25 years remaining? Then it's just embarrassing. Gundrick says, T90, I want it on record. What do you want on the record? Keep in mind that killing the king will not defeat Gundrick. Gundrick says, I was a pain in the ass to a 2k player for 5 minutes. Yeah, my salute goes out, man. Ahara says, oh no, I'm not a 2k player, I'm a 2k5 player, put some respect. But but on a very serious note, Gundrick could get the assist here. Come on, Onion Duck, let's go! Onion Duck, let's go! Get your units to the middle! Get your units to the middle! Forget about Gundrick. Forget about Gundrick. Get your units to the middle, please! Sleeth just sent Hera wood. Has Hera forgotten this is a King of the Hill game? He's having conversations and, and swapping resources. Purple sending light cap. Purple has most of his siege. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Pat. Yeah, Rhino. Let's go, Rhino. Get the zebras involved. Block it. Oh my God. No! He won! Onion Duck did it! The guy has 57 population. What was the line? What was the line? Hold on, I need to find it. I can't find it. It's like, Onion Duck, you've disappointed all of Canada today or something. Hera and Nalgene, you have disappointed your country today. Oh my god. Wow. I mean, Purple sent everything to Onion Duck's base. Onion Duck knew that he it was going to be a struggle. He knew that there was no way he could fight them outright. And so he sent what he could to the center and got the win. Now, guys, check this out. These three Chukunu, um, not enough. That they're not in the radius of the of the wonder. So it's actually just this Chukunu, one unit, because this unit was just killed. This unit's on twenty six HP. So twenty six HP. Uh, at the cows and the turkeys do not count. Oh, Sleeth was even on the way. Oh man, I imagine. Imagine being green, though. I feel like we kind of forgot about poor Sleeth. Let's think about this. Initially, he was going to play in another game. And then I accidentally overrolled and forgot about him. Um, felt bad about that. So I said, okay, you can play in the next game. This ended up being the map. And then he spent two hours and 11 minutes cutting through the map only... <laughs> Only for Onion Duck to win with a 26 HP Chukunu after he cut through. Like, this was the moment he cut through. He was like, yes, my people are finally free. And then Teal wins with a 26 HP Chukunu. Wow. Um, <clears throat> that was fun. Props to the players for talking so much. That was great. Uh, Hera's banter with the players, the trash talk, smack talk back and forth made that perfect. And uh, yeah, that's everything, nothing. Uh, by the way, to the players who are now listening to me, in case you didn't know, uh, the kings and the queens were really not important at all. Because, who was it? Um, uh, Orange lost his queen and his king, and he didn't die. He had to end up resigning. So I, I wasn't aware of that <laughs> until it happens. Um, I assumed the king was very important there. Um, Hera had 624 kills, 156 largest army. Um, who had the most gold? Nalgene did. Interesting. How many relics? So I guess he mined a whole lot of gold. Um, Gundrick had most relics. But yeah, if it wasn't for Gundrick... Wow, that's a weird timeline if I've ever seen one. If it wasn't for Gundrick, I don't think that there was any chance for Onion Duck. Um, and you could also say that if Atomic Sausage would have stayed in the game and contributed with anything, it could have been a single villager. It might have taken care of that Chukunu, right? So everything just went right for Onion Duck there.
funny game, crazy map. Uh, that is the end of nothing maps forever. I will never cast Forest Nothing again. I will never cast Water Buffalo Nothing again. Actually, I've never casted that one yet. Uh, I will never cast Llama Nothing again. Nothing maps are officially done and retired. Sayonara. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, um, you know, initially, like back when the nothing phase started, just kidding, chat. Half the people were like, yes. The other half were like, no, I'm unsubbing from this fool. But uh, initially, when Force Nothing got popular, I thought we would go through every single possible nothing map and end on everything nothing. But I've realized that we cannot possibly go through every single nothing map. So we decided to do this today. Uh, well played, everyone. Thanks for watching. Obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't already figured it out, uh, we stream community games on Fridays on Twitch. So if you'd like to stop by, the Twitch link is below in the video description. Obliga uh, obligatory time for all the viewers here to say hello to their future selves and their moms and their dads and YouTube and whatever else. And I'll see you in the next video.